Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Carnivore Cityscape. Last time we did the mo- we started what will be the game going down the toilet. And now we're gonna continue, because now we're actually in the sewers, and... What sewer would be complete without a bunch of rats? Well, they're Alphadons, but fuck it, they're rats. Was- what was wrong with that one? Okay. <gasps> Whatever. Even the ambience in this game can't handle this game's AI. Oh, that corpse looks like something we haven't met yet. Yeah, this is the corpse of a dinosaur we haven't seen yet. Okay, that corpse texture looks really, really bad. The fuck was that noise? That is not the sound of any dinosaur in this game, so I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, now we can't go through the door, you know, like a normal person, so... Instead, we gotta go through here. Through this pipe, I, I guess, is what this is. Oh, I hear something. Yeah, don't just go straight into this room because, oh shit, you see that? That right there is a Sukumimus. And I'm not gonna deal with that thing at close range, so we're just gonna boop, boop, boop. I said boop. Die. Okay, there we go. And. And, of course, no level will be complete without Coelophysis. Well, that makes perfect sense for those little shits to be down here. Oh, shit. That's another one. What the- The hell? The hell? What the fuck? Where did you come from? The hell? Where did that one come from? I legitimately have no idea where that one came from. Okay, but yeah, Sukumimus. Pretty damn powerful. Um, not something you really want to mess with. Where'd the other one go? Did I get it? I can't even tell, because I don't know where it went. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Die. Die. Now, something I haven't mentioned yet is that as far as I'm aware, every med kit in this game brings you back to full health. Some would say that would make the game a little too easy, but this game uh, uh, makes up for it by spreading them out as thin as they can in the later levels. Okay, that door doesn't open. This level is... Kind of confusing to navigate, and yeah, I think this is the way I went before. Yeah, because this is one of the Sukumimus I killed. This level is not very easy to navigate. It's long, there are a lot of corridors, there's a lot of different branching pathways. And uh, this is a, but luckily the level does not, the objective is not find your way to something, it is just kill all the enemies. And I can hear a Sukumimus in here, but I don't know where it is. That That's not a good sign, when you can hear something but don't see it. Uh, anything up here? Well, there's a nest, but I don't see any dinosaurs. Uh, okay. Well, I don't see anything, so I don't know why... Grab that med kit, because I, I need it. Because that Sukumimus did a fucking number on me. Ay, 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 great. Great, my favorite enemy in this whole game, the Coelophysis. <laughs> oh, you stupid little shit. Get over here. Okay, uh... Alright, now, if you're wondering where that Sukumimus that keeps growling is... You wanna know where it is? Oh, by the way, that valve does not do anything. You know, video game puzzle logic would dictate that I need to interact with it to get it to do something. But it won't. It doesn't do anything. Oh, hey, hey, the Sukumimus is underwater. Don't you love it when the enemies can't even fucking navigate the game? This game's so bad, the enemies don't even know where to do what to do with it. Okay, yeah, but there's a lot of fucking swimming in this in these levels as well. Because that's fun. Water levels are everyone's favorite too. Right? I. 
It's a sewer level and it's a water level. This is not... This does not feel like a very fun... If it sounds like I'm not having fun, it's because I'm not. This level is kind of tedious. It's tedious just because the only goal is kill all the enemies, which again, I am perfectly capable of doing. I just need to know where to look for them, because there are a lot of sections of this level which are just confusing and hard to navigate. Like, everything looks the fucking same. That noise in the background is really gonna get annoying eventually. Eventually. It starts being annoying the second you start hearing it. Ugh, whatever. You know what? At least this game- this level isn't throwing things at me every two seconds. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a death trap. Luckily, there's water beneath you, but still, because of the game's collision detection, you could very well end up go- You could very well just go flying and hit the actual platform. And then take fall damage because of it. Now, this, I think, is the way we need to go. And, uh, a little unclear as to where exactly to- where you can get air. Also, I hate getting out of the water in this game. It's- it's ridiculous for some reason to get out of the damn water. Okay, it's dead. That one's dead. There's one more of them down there. Um, and, um, just to show you the game's miraculously good AI once again. Uh, yeah, he's, he's walking into a wall. And you know what, I'm not even gonna risk going down there. You've destroyed all dinosaurs. Good. And new loading stream of the fucking Mosasaur. Alright, select the X-Rifle and the shotgun again. Now, these are enclosed spaces, but the X-Rifle is the only gun that's actually really good against the Sukos, so I'm gonna take that. Yep, dum 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 Oh, hi! I was just talking about you! you. I actually kind of like the Sukumimus design in this game. It's kind of cool, especially since you don't see Sukumimus in video games all that often. This is, I think, the only big, the only, like, non-RPG-style game I've ever seen one, because it's, it's in Dinosaur King and Fossil Fighters, but... This is the only, like, uh, dinosaur game that features them as, like, enemies instead of, like, collectibles that features a Sukumimus. Okay, um... Now we gotta get around. God damn, Where did you even come from? Can you just... Fuck off and leave me alone? I don't even know where he went. Okay, he ran straight through the Sukumimus carcass. I guess he just burrowed his way through all that meat. <sighs> okay, to be fair, you can walk through the carcasses too, but still. Look, this game is not good, so I get to nit so I'm gonna just gonna nitpick a bunch of random shit. All right, now this. I'm pretty sure this is a death trap because. Yeah, dead Sukumimus. I'm, what I'm trying to look for is there are actually two versions of the Sukumimus in this game. There are the adults and the juveniles. The juveniles have less health than the adults and have a different skin. It, 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 it is the definition of a filler enemy. It's just there so the game can say we have six enemies, even though it's technically only five because it's only five species and. It's just one has a juvenile and an adult variation, which brings up the, the the plot, the plot hole of where are the juveniles of the other dinosaurs? Why are there only juvenile Sukumimus? And I'm too lazy to switch back to the X rifle, so I'm just gonna shotgun this one to death. Oh shit! This doesn't actually seem like that good of an idea, especially when there are multiple of them. Look at that! Four Sukumimus. Also, this is a question. If these dinosaurs are all predators, what are they preying on? Are they eating each other? Are they... are there herbivores that we just don't see? If this game had just put some herbivores in... Even Jurassic the Hunted, give that game some credit, it had some herbivores... Oh shit. Oh crap! Oh, ju no, no, get away. Uh, th this is this level. Just Sukumimus after Sukumimus down every fucking corridor. And I'm taking splash damage, but I, I don't care because this is the easiest way to kill these stupid things. Look how many of these I've killed. How common is Su These Sukumimus are breeding like fucking rabbits, I guess, because there's so many of them. I, how many specimens of Sukumimus have we actually found? Not that many, from what I'm aware of. So, 
Okay. I guess. It's, oh, oh, that's not annoying. That annoying, but that buzzing noise isn't annoying at all. Oh, and also remember how I said this level is confusing? Yeah, I get lost here because uh, this. Th look at all this. It all looks the same. There's not a single thing differentiating everything. Yeah, I just went in a fucking circle. That's the way I came from. Oh, by the way, that map can sometimes get you killed because the map, the button to activate the map is M, whereas the button to activate the night vision is N. N and M are right next to each other, so unless you rebind the key, uh, there will most likely be several occasions where you want to turn on the night vision but end up accidentally turning the map on and getting killed over it. That sounds not annoying. Okay, to give you an idea as to why that annoys me so much, I had an old TV that would um, make a really annoying buzzing sound whenever one of the AV cables was put in wrong. It had something to do with like the way the AV cable was positioned, so... So yeah, I, I don't like that... I don't know anyone in general who likes noises like that. Okay, now... Again, I don't know where I'm going. It's almost confusing. The, 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 the sewer levels in general are pretty damn confusing to navigate. And I don't know why they're so confusing to navigate. I don't know why the developers stuff. Well, would you look at that madness? Okay, switch to the X rifle and just blast the shit out of it. How many Sukamimus are down here? A better question how did they get down here? How did an animal that weighed? Hold on, let me look this. Let me look this up. I have Google right here, so. Okay, let me look this up. Um. Okay. Uh. How did so many 11 meter and? Okay, the the weight range on Super Minus is a little large, but. They could weigh from two to five tons. How did so many of them get down here? That's a dead one, so we don't have to worry about that. And by dead, I mean already dead. It's been dead for a while. Okay, um... Okay! Thanks, game, for throwing one right at me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now... Okay, yeah, this is the way we're supposed to go. I'm gonna grab that health because you know, I don't need it because this is the very end of the level and there are no more enemies after this. Now what really annoys me is that to actually use something you have to place your cursor right on the thing you want to use. It's not like any other game I've ever played where you just use it by being in the general direction of it. But yay, we flooded the tunnels! Unfortunately that's not actually the end of the level because the game doesn't just end the level when the tunnels flood. No, you actually have to go through a door, because I'm an idiot. Doy. Another big brain moment for me over here. I would make another joke about how I didn't want to do stupid shit for views, but fuck it. Uh, anyways, uh, see you guys next time on Let's Play Carnivore Cityscape. Thanks for watching. Bye bye